Hey detectives, welcome to the crew. I'm Sealer Janda, and this is my let's play of Disco Elysium. In the last episode, we got the body down from the tree at last and finished our autopsy, and we're now going to go looking for a fridge to put it in. Leaving the station, Kuno. You missed a good show before. A kid came by and completely fucked the tree to pieces. He fucked the tree up. Fucked it good. It was porno. Guys, all I did was break Aim a branch, really. Decisively. It's Kuno. Use Kuno words. Um. Total R words use language like that. Congratulations, Kuno. You just made yourself one. Uh, uh huh. Stop choking, Kuno! The faggot has got you in a chokehold! No, oh boy. Kuno's not fucking choking! Chuck you out right there, serves you right for using reactionary shit. Like fuck you did! Kuno's gonna keep saying kips forever now! Kip, 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 kip! Yeah, that's right, kid. He only gets two shit. kips out before he coughs. What the fuck do you want anyway? You got your fuck bag down? Now let's talk normal shit! Oh, now you want a normal conversation, huh? Yes, yes. Kuno wants a normal conversation. Ask normal shit, please. That's not gonna work. Uh... I talked to Manana about the armor. Oh, that's where Manana is. Shoot. Now I realize who he is. Uh, he told me you promised to... sick the pigs on him? Yes, yeah, so? Kuno did sick the pigs on him? Kuno's a man of his word. Kuno sent your fat ass running around like jello. Look, pig. Oh, these fucking Kuno kids. sent you to rough some people up. Kuno played you. That happened. Now you and Kuno should move on. What is this? Fuck it, I'm not gonna Can't feud with Kuno a kid. New asshole. Kuno was just being nice to you. You got fucked bad. Now limp the fuck out of here. After this shit, you better have something real interesting to say if you want to stay in Kuno's face. Yeah, real interesting. Don't think I'm passing that check anytime soon, but uh he's on your crime scene, bossing you around. And he's been here for some time too. This is where he hangs out. You have to get more out of him. He could be useful. Kuna, cool, listen, I know this boundary pushing things new to you, but it is old news for me. Get your snout out of Kuno's ass. Kuno knows how hard Kuno pushes it. Kuno pushes it hard level. You should give up, Popo, or the Kun will keep fucking it out of you. Are you okay, Kuno? She looks worried. The Kun has her confused. That went wrong. He took it as a compliment. Then he had a minor seizure. Yeah, okay, let's get out of here. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Did I get another skill point? I did. Uh, what should I use it on? Rhetoric is good, logic is good. Um, I've almost died numerous times because of my terrible morale already. Maybe I should uh, level that up. I could be wearing these gloves the whole time. <laughs> Stylish. This reduces my drama but increases my visual calculus. And, oh, this adds both Esprit de Cour and... Shivers? Wait, what is Shivers? Shoot, I should have been wearing that this whole time, too. Where... Well, it's not as... Well, I guess this isn't... It is a disco blazer. That's alright. We need stats. I'll wear whatever if, it got, if it's got stats. It's annoyingly difficult to... Oh. Okay, that's much easier. Let's do that. <laughs> What does drama do? I feel like I don't really want to change 
I don't want to make that trade off right now. Okay. Alright, let's roll. It's pretty much night time, but I guess we can ask in at the Whirling in Rags. If they've got a freezer, we can uh, put a corpse in for a little while. I'm pretty sure all I really want to do is steal the boots, to be honest with you, but... <laughs> Anybody new here? This guy. I haven't seen you know, several bunch of people hanging out over here. That's the only one I could have a conversation with. Oh, and the kitchen's open. Hello, manager. You are on like a 16-hour shift, apparently. Can I so. help you? Uh, the trash container out back, yours? Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. Okay, yes, that was implied, guard. Thank you for clearing that up. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors, too. They put their trash there, and they don't pay for the garbage company. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. What? What's this feeling? Prod at him and find out. <laughs> yes. Doesn't it uh, seem callous? No, I shouldn't provoke him. It does seem callous for the record, but... Uh, can we get the keys? What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Okay. Um, do you have a fridge? Yes, yes. For the dead body. You want to put a dead corpse into my fridge, right? Got it in one, guard. Correct it. Uh, yes, that's the gist of it. Well, I have a fridge, and you're not putting it here. Not even gonna ask why, you're just gonna say something mean. This is a culinary establishment, not a morgue. You don't have to ask me why you can't store a dead body in my kitchen. It would be an extreme health code violation to store a severely rotten dead body in the walk-in. I don't think that your average chef would approve. It would only be for a... Lieutenant, you too? You're asking too? No, the answer is no. I will not turn this place into some kind of macabre circus. The lieutenant is asking too, because it's in fact not strictly unprofessional. It's just, oh wow, that upgrade actually gave me a second morale bar, so I won't die literally instantly. That's nice. Let's go talk to the Frit clerk. Okay. Um, so about that money yes. I have. have you got it? Can I pay with this giant novelty check? You must be joking. You come here to trash everything, and now you try to pay with a novelty check? He stares at you. This isn't baffled. a game show. I'm not going to accept it. You owe me cold, hard money. I want to see that money in the palm of my hand. Every single cent. You can cash it in at the local frit near the harbor gates. Though it might not be enough to cover it. Yeah, I own like 130 real or something, don't a I? A lot. Yep. A lot, lot. For the room, drinks, and broken window, 130 real. Okay, let's talk about what? something else. I was rarely enjoying talking about the money you owe me. I'm sure you were. Uh, I've seen something here I need what to talk about. Thing? I saw a sign that said the meth ho mess hall is reserved for the Union. Yes, not the whole damn Union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. He tosses his head in disdain. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. Okay. You should find Feels out who the Lord Faction is occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative, and we need info. Too meaningful now. Alright, how do we find them? We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry. Even men on strike. You certainly did. Glance at the clock on the wall behind the manager. Huh. It's after 1600. The sign said reserved starting 1600. Why isn't anyone in the mess hall? Good question. He turns to the cafeteria manager. They're probably getting drunk or protesting something somewhere or laying low after the, you know, lynching. They did the lynching? They probably fucking killed that guy or something, and that's why. Yeah, that does check out. Okay. Mm. I have a feeling we'll make their acquaintance sooner or later. What? 
By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Thanks. Okay, you know what? I think that's it. Bye. I don't need to inform him that we're gonna sing karaoke here. But Kim wants to have a conversation. We should think about calling it today, maybe. The nights are still miserably cold this time of year. Uh, yes, one small problem. I uh, owe the cafeteria manager 130 real for damages, and I have 563. Plus a novelty check. You should take care of that, then. Uh, yes, see, problem, I have 563 and a novelty check. Let's talk to him anyway. An officer of the RCM shouldn't be sleeping in the street. We'll figure something out. Okay. You know, we will go to bed, but let me just, uh, see what I see about this kitchen first. There's nobody, nothing in here. The dishes are drying, they smell of chemicals and pine trees. Ooh. Dollar fifteen. An aroma of spices, alcohol, and tomato hangs in the air. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimpled lock. It's painted blue. I would lay ten to one odds this leads into the walk-in, but sure, let's figure out where it leads. The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. Old cobalt paint, rough on the fingers. 40, 50 years since this was painted, maybe. It leads to a side building. No, no, side building? Okay, this one. never mind. The old building next to this, half ruined. Whatever is behind it must be older. The door does not budge. I wonder where this door do? leads. It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? The Follow witch. up every lead. Outside. Kim? In the backyard. Remember? No. Your fingers do. There was a winch outside on the roof, like that of a small elevator. Hmm. Well, if there was a winch, I suppose we could look into it. As a side investigation. It's hardly a side investigation. You already have a name for it. No, the door is a mega investigation. I'm calling it behind the blue door. It's hardly worth the title. Anyway. Gart is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, it is quite late. I don't know if there's a hard cutoff or what, but uh, let me run to Freet. I also don't know if there's a hard cutoff like in terms of time to solve the case, honestly. I might have as many days as I want. Let me cash my giant novel to check. Um, is this about the questions again? Because I don't really know anything. Uh, yes. One, I need to exchange this novelty check for cash. Uh, wow. I didn't know you worked for the union, sir. She rolls up the giant novelty check like she's seen it before and slips it under the counter. Why does... it was... Why does it for our pay in giant novelty checks? Anything else I can do for you? No, you don't work for the union. The union works for you by supplying you with cash. That's some fine rhetoric right there, son. <laughs> that was I like easy. it. <laughs> Worryingly, so. It was, yes. Do you have a fridge? Mm-hmm. Right behind you. Hmm. You're right, this is yeah. a fridge. Wicked. I need to store a corpse in it. Um you're joking, right? <sighs> no, I need to store the corpse of the hanged man in your fridge. Um Okay. It wouldn't even fit, you know. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe a glass door fridge in a public grocery store isn't <coughs> the best option for storing a corpse. <laughs> you have a point, Kim. It's too small anyway. Okay. Just like, all right. Yeah, this fridge? No, we're not going to store a corpse in there. That's not a good idea. Honestly, I bet you we could fit it. We just need to take the shelves out. So that leaves Kuno? We're really going to ask Kuno if he has a fridge to store a corpse in. He's not going to help us anyway. We're not on a super great footing with him. Why is she still just sitting out here? The passage of time does not affect the people all that much, huh? Kuno didn't even actually take off like he said he was going to. Oh, let me look in the garbage. Okay. Why this is trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says whirling in rags with a well-oiled crack 
the lock pops open. It should now be possible to simply raise the lid. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. What? Why? Just the feeling. A warning from some part of you. I'm gonna shit die when I open this lid, aren't I? The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. Doesn't you see soggy time. cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Okay. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Alright, I'll search you it. You see milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. This is my own garbage, isn't it? You've done this before. The movements are recorded in your elbows. The methodology in your fingers. You're used to this. It's a dumpster type. No, I'm used to searching, searching for evidence, evidence in the trash, in yeah. The trash. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Turbo noodles, Nothing you say? Note, however. Exciting. Okay, Rags. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from oh, the garment, yeah, well, a jeans. rank corpse smell fills the air. Are these the victim's clothes? The smell is not nearly as bad as the cadaver. These clothes could not have been in contact with the deceased for more than two days after his death. Cadaver in odor is faint. If these belonged to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. By early stages, you mean these were taken from him no more than two days after his death? Yes. If we are still assuming the clothes were taken off to get to the armor, they must have stripped him of it fast, the scavengers. In a matter of days. All right, bag him. Guitar marked blue jeans. Pockets. Empty. Or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too. A white belt. The loops appear stretched, but... He looks into the container. The belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. Something slimy catches your eye. Oh a drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears from oh the food boy. waste, dripping with pus. I actually almost figured this was going to be a dead end, but this is uh, important, really. This is a military-type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. A yellow old mug that catches your eye. But other than that... Turn out towel, mug, that's All it. Alright, we should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or... that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. You think someone from the Whirling might have been involved? Not really. All we know is, the victim's clothes are in the trash, the lid was locked, and his establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. You think we could ask the kids? What the fuck's he on about? Kids? You hear that, Kuno? He thinks you're an infant or something. See? All right. The lieutenant nods, then looks back into the trash container. Search the food It's waste. just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills, mostly. Unidentified sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, what's this? What? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple mm. peels. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. Something larger. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes. Written in a man's handwriting. Officer, is that your paperwork? Aw, oh, hell. <laughs> nope, no idea. It is. Look, the plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form in there. Well done, found my paperwork. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? Mm, I think... Possibly it was cramping my style? Officer, this is an official piece of paperwork. <laughs> it probably contains notes on numerous ongoing investigations and could even list undercover operatives, informants. I suggest integrating it into your style for all our sakes. I see. Easier said than done. How could this pathetic cabbage of copy paper and plastic ever become tre 
disco. I don't know, but we're gonna have to figure out how to make it try disco. Challenge accepted. You should be on the lookout for stylistic elements that elevate this cabbage to heights unforeseeable. Absolutely. Genius idea. Good choice. Soggy carton and some kind of food sludge welcome you back invitingly. The real trick here is we need to integrate disco into police work so that we can reconcile it all in our mind and become a truly great detective, you understand? Officer, this is sensitive information. You need to take this seriously. Okay. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now, tell me what your eagle eyes see. Or are we finished? Some items, such as the ledger you found, are interactable. Go to your inventory and select the Interact tab to read your paperwork. Okay, I'm taking the mug too. You pick out a broken mug with an oddly racist depiction oh, of the yellow I don't want the mug. frolicking in saffron. <laughs> Only in its social sensibility. No, I don't want to take the mug. Oh boy. Okay, can I put the mug back? The container oh, no. sounds a muffled gong. I'm not escaping the, uh, the, 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 the racism allegations from Kim, That's am I? That's one thing off the list. I think we got it all. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. I think that's you it. see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Yeah, we're done. The container here. sounds a muffled gong. Hey, uh, Kuno. Fuck, does Kuno care? You got a fridge? For the fuck him? Good thing you asked the Kunmeister. Kuno knows a fridge. Perfect for freezing. Really? I don't believe you. Kuno knows all kinds of shit. Kuno gets around. Where can I find this perfect fridge then? Bacon man's in a rush. But what's in it for the Kuno? What's the return on Kuno's investment? By killing in his territory, someone has openly challenged Kuno. It's in his best interest to put them in their place. Hey, some arrogant shit thinks he can kill in the Kuno's kingdom without asking the Kuno first? That sounds like lawlessness to me, Kuno. A dark flame smolders in Kuno's eyes as he ponders your argument. Wordless, like kings do. This outlaw's fate's in your hands. Let's make an example of him. Help me... Locate him using fridge body technology. <laughs> All right, Kuno, where's ya? See that shit house over there? He points to the collapsed building with the bookstore. A cold comes over you as you glance behind him at the crumbling colossus there, casting a shadow on you. Yeah, the big tall one, okay. You gotta get in that shit. In there deep. What do you mean, in there deep? Check the fucking basement, pig. Don't you know anything? <sighs> Always check the fucking basement. Recon style. There's a giant fridge down there. Fucking will fit, no problem. It looks like a white bear or some shit. Try not to piss yourself when you see it. A white bear? A polar bear? Okay, how do I get in through the building? Through the bookstore. You gotta beg the book bitch. Used to be you could get in there through the doorbell, jam that shit. Book bitch changed that. Kuno doesn't beg, so Kuno doesn't go there anymore. Yeah, okay. book bitch, beggar. You stupid or son? He means the bookstore. We have to ask. Plaisance is the mother of the little girl peddling books on the plaza. We have to ask Plaisance in the store. Okay. Impressive note keeping, Lieutenant. Indeed. See, the clerk gets it. Listen to your four eyed oh, friend. Kuno. Thanks, Kuno. You didn't hear it from Kuno, pig. But don't forget where you heard it from. <laughs> yes, that's right. Kuno owns you now, pig. You're Kuno's property. Okay, I'm out of Kuno here. doesn't fucking care. Well, that's some progress, actually. I think uh, we do need to call it a day, probably, because I don't know if there is a cutoff or what, but uh, it seems that Kim was definitely hinting me that I should call it a day. Only problem is I don't have... Uh, well, I have 31 real now. That's better than before, but... Not even remotely close to enough to pay for my accommodations. Sam. No photos of men in overalls toting guns and union placards.
Can I help you? Here's your trash container key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. Yeah, I found the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Yeah, could somebody on your staff have done it? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my stuff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. Anybody else have keys? The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. <laughs> ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. I see. Thank you anyway. All right. Yes. Um. Another thing. Great. I love those. Yes, where's the blue steel door in the back of the kitchen go? Oh, yes, that door, sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. Do you know what's behind it? And do you have... No, I don't have a key. Damn it, I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. It's just a frit warehouse, probably. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk and dust. Runs his finger across the counter to check for dirt. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. I think you'd like to know what's back there, Gart. Fine, okay. A little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. Will you forgive my 130 for y'all dead if I break the door down? So, I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though. After the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck with that. Fair enough. Yes? So about that money I Yes. Have. have you got it? I was wondering if we could come to an arrangement. Does that arrangement include you paying me what we already agreed you owe me? I'll pay you back uh, in future. As a police officer, you must understand that I cannot take you at your word without evidence. I could give you 30 real or evidence something. Evidence being money. You can't stay here without money. Well, hold on. I still have my key, so... Good luck trying to use it. He taps his foot against a metal box installed in the back of the counter. Draconian measures. But he's gonna shoot me. All the locks have an oh, electronic no, okay. component. They have to be unlocked down here with a master key before your guest key will open the lock. This isn't going anywhere, is Not it? Not until you bring me the money. Okay. I might have something in my motor carriage we can use when you're done here. Oh, Lieutenant, we're done here. Okay. We're done here. I don't know, 30 real is actually quite a bit. Given I've not found any change in amounts of less than, or more than like a dollar. I mean, we need to find some, like, big bust or something where I can confiscate about a couple hundred reals or something. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone. I have something here we could sell. Look in the back, in the suspect transport enclosure. Transport enclosure? Regular people just call it the cage. Okay. The cage at the back of the motor carriage looks rather uncomfortable. Four shiny hubcaps are oh, stacked nice. against the seat. Their silver edges sparkle in the dark. I confiscated this for a little while back. We can take them to the pawn shop down by the Martinez Canal. Yeah. What are those? They are spinner hubcaps. Frivolous things you put on your wheels. When the wheels come to a stop, the caps keep on spinning. There's oh, no fancy. real use for them, it's just for vanity. Honestly, that sounds like an amazing physics demonstration. Where'd you confiscate them? A couple of weeks ago, I stopped a young man for going slower than the speed of traffic. Turns out he was some coalition official son and high. Oh man, I get it. I would have confiscated them too. They are mesmerizing. Yes, they are. I was going to take them into evidence. But they weren't necessary for conviction. He never asked for them back. Were you, uh, gonna put these on your machine? No, no, that, that would be silly. I just... I don't know why I kept them. It doesn't matter. I couldn't put them on this MC anyway. A cop with spinners. That would be outrageous. Outrageously cool and radical. He flashes a smile, barely visible in the dark. I'm sorry, you have to sell them because of me, Ken. As I said, they are useless anyway. I should have remembered I have these earlier. So, pawn shop? Yes, there's one 100 meters south of here. 
I think it's called Roy's Nest or something. If I'm not mistaken, it should be open in it. Items that can be poured at Bird's Nest Roy's appear in your inventory under the items tab. You can pawn these items when talking to Roy. I appreciate the help, Kim. The lieutenant nods as you take the spinners. Holy cow, Kim is a literal saint. I mean, we would be... Absolutely... Uh, well, the hanged man's rather large on here. Like, we've had no memory or anything all damn day, and he's just like, okay, he's, he's gonna work with that. Well, let's see if we can find Roy. An ancient fountain. Doesn't pump water anymore. There's a tree in it. Alright. Plastic wrapped macaroni stamped with humanitarian aid. Humanitarian aid tuna fish. Not for resale. Speakers from the people of Samara. Food gift from the people of Messina. Helpline to the company that controls the draw Oh. Uh, bridge. Maybe over here. No, I don't. What do you mean a hundred miles? Or a hundred. Where the hell is this pawn shop? Is this it? Yep. Thanks for watching, detectives. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribing. And have a nice day, detectives. This is Sea Lord Agenda, signing off.